folks. We are starting our live presentation here. So we're going to try and get back on track here. We kind of took a little hiatus and we're finding that many of you seem to like Tuesday evenings, Wednesday evenings too. So first thing I'm going to do is show you Susan Valentine just came in with all this beautiful, beautiful pottery. It is slab work, according to her. I'm not quite sure. So she does slabs, but look at all of these pieces that she has put on the pieces. I mean, it's just gorgeous with punch work. And look at this beautiful, beautiful um, butter dish with the bees. I'm just loving it too much. And there's the, the plate. Just gorgeous. But what I really want to show you, those mason jars that we have in the large uh, mayonnaise jars. So these tops are for flowers. They are frogs and they have beautiful flowers attached. And this one's got dragonflies on it. And it just goes right on the mason jar. You can see how it is here. And I cut some flowers from our garden and put them in with the water. I guess I got to change the water. And you also, when you buy a frog, you get the choice of a charm to tie around the mason jar. Isn't that fun? So she's got some different charms. So this is a duck and some butterflies and some stars and rabbits. So really cute, but just some beautiful, here's a yarn bowl and some three-legged mugs. But look at this, she even has a nice little piece on the bottom. Just beautiful, beautiful dimensional work here. And this is actually for your jewelry. So you put your earrings in the little uh, cup and your rings right on the poke here and then your bracelets can fit in there. And again, it's beautiful dragonflies. And this bowl has shellfish. So if anybody has a brand new house on the Cape or somewhere else beachy, that would be a beautiful gift for them. It does have legs to it, little feet that are just beautiful, beautiful detail. And then, so that's beautiful. That is Susan Valentine. She is our new uh, crafter. And she is actually going to be working in the shop. So once she goes through all her training, then um, she'll be here. So you'll all be able to meet her. Hi, Janet. Hi, Hazel. So nice to see you guys. Now we're going to walk over here. And Sarah is busy fixing a cable for Stacy yet again. But that's OK. <laughs> so Emma came in with this beautiful Emma's August yarns. Look at those colors for both the mohair and the regular yarn. And we are going to put it together with this Claudita cardigan. Is that too beautiful? So it's yarn, which we have picked uh, Wish You Were Beer with some beautiful mohair to do it. And then we're going to use Emma's August for the mohair up here. So we're kind of looking forward to that. I have to find one of my staff knitters who's not too busy so we can go ahead and um, give it to them to whip right up for us as a shop sample. Speaking of samples, I am still working on this scarf. This is the one that the needles broke the other night. And you saw my post in the middle of the night with a broken. What we have done is this is the Arno let me just grab an Arno here. We have a couple of different ones. We have a brown Arno and we have a, it's a blue or black gray Arno. And we've attached the um, mohair with it as we have knitted up. The pattern actually calls for the pink and the yellow to be alternated. So you have pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, and that's it. We've decided to go ahead and do our shop sample with each of the different colors so that you can see as a sample how they work up and decide and pick your colors yourself. So this is the navy blue. This is the copper. This is like a mauve color, so it blends very, very soft blending. A aqua, a gold, and the hot pink. So if you're into hot pinks, that's a gorgeous one. 
And speaking of August colorways, this is the new one from um, Forbidden Fibers. Is that too beautiful? So, and we're pairing it with two different mohairs. We haven't decided on the pattern yet, but those are the two mohair options. We get that out of the way so you can see the two mohair options we're gonna put with it. We haven't figured out what we're gonna make yet, but we will find something. A lot of fall inventory is starting to come in. Is that pumpkin too cute? That's from Meadowbrook Gourds in Pennsylvania. And Susan has finished this beautiful sweater. This is the Glen, Glenavan, Glenavan, Glenavan. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's beautiful. And it's got some beautiful cabling up the side. And of course, as only you know, Susan Miles can do, if you remember her from uh, Classic Elite and as a designer on Ravelry, she has designed a hat to go with it. We will have the pattern here in house before too long, hopefully. And yes, you are seeing a little bit of Madeline Tosh hiding over here. We have decided to give the Madeline Tosh tweed, the single ply, a try. So these are the three skeins that we have for a sample. We're not quite sure what we're going to make yet on that, but we'll figure something out and hopefully we'll have it ready by October when Madeline Tosh single ply tweed comes in. Here's more of the Forbidden Fibers, the August colorway, which is just beautiful. And I have on one of Susan's shawls. Crashed, us, crashed and burned the system here. So I think I need Stacy to help me. Stacy, can you come help me? So this is going to help me here. We're going to show some of Susan Miles' shawls. You can just hold that and... I can't I tell if they can see. see. All right. Wait a minute, folks. Sorry. Oh, Grinch, we're going to turn this around again so Stacy can see what she's doing. There we there go. There you go. I'm not sure. I think your finger sits down here. Yep. There we go, guys. All right. So I wore the perfect color shirt today. And there is a beautiful shawl. So this is available for sale, already made. So for those of you looking for holiday gifts, it is handmade and 100% wool. It is $185 made, I believe, I'm not sure what design it is, whether it was one of Susan's or not. But it's just got some beautiful work up at the neckline there. And then some great short row work. As always, Susan does a beautiful job. We have another one of hers. This one is beautiful too. I love the color. This one is actually 100% Pima cotton and it is $85. If you're interested, you need to give the shop a call or write it in the comments section that you want this. This is the Pima cotton shawl. Isn't that beautiful? Again, I picked the right color today. So there we go. Just beautiful. Love the Pico Edge. Perfect gifts. If you have somebody who's having an anniversary or a very special birthday, this would be a beautiful gift for this time of year. And the last one I'm going to show off today is this simple, again, this is a viscose and linen blend. So again, perfect for this time of year cool shoulders and it actually goes with my purple even though it has no purple in it nice little fringe so there we go folks it's been great chatting with you and hopefully I'll do something again before next Tuesday but otherwise have a wonderful one don't forget we're here we love you and we have some beautiful yarns for you oh one more thing I forgot to say so Stacy's been cleaning out our back, 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 the storeroom. And we have a lot of needles. I'm not quite sure how these needles ended up without the right packaging. I don't know whether we pulled them out to show people, whether we pulled them out to use them, maybe to help pick up a stitch or something, but we have a bunch of them. They're in the wrong package, but the needles are perfect. They're all... They all look relatively new and perfect and have sizes on them. So these guys are all 25% off. 
And as we find more, we will be refilling this jug. This container will be over by the register. Help yourselves, 25% off. Perfectly good needles, knitter's prides, chai goos, all kinds of great stuff in here. So folks, we'll see you next week. Love ya, bye.